Welcome to this service. At entrance, you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. God takes care of his people. The Lord takes care of me like a shepherd with his sheep. I have everything that I need. He takes me to green fields where I can rest. He leads me to streams of water where I can drink. He gives me new strength in my life. He is my guide to the right paths. He does this to show that he is good. I may walk through a valley that is as dark as death, but I will not be afraid of any danger. This is because you are with me, Lord. You stick and your shepherd's pole make me feel bread. You prepare a big meal for me while my enemies watch. You put olive oil on my head. You bless me so much that my cup is completely full. I am sure that you will always be good to me. You will love me all the days of my life that will never change. I will live in the Lord's house for as long as I live. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light. Amen. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu. Amen. The Great King. The whole earth belongs to the Lord. Everybody who lives in the world and all the things in it belong to Him. The Lord built the foundation of the earth. He built it on the seas and the rivers who may climb up the hill of the Lord who can stand in his holy place 
it is only the person who does what is right and who has pure thoughts he does not worship idols and he does not make false promises the lord will bless people who are like that god will save them he will say that they are not guilty of wrong things people like that want to serve god and please him they like to pray to the god of jacob bible matthew 15 part 1 to 20 jesus teaches about inner purity then some pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus they came from Jerusalem and asked him why do you followers not obey the traditions we have from our great leaders who lived long ago your followers don't wash their hands before they eat Jesus answered and why do you refuse to obey God's command so that you can follow those traditions you have God said, you must respect your father and mother. And God also said, Who, whoever says anything bad to their father and mother must be killed. But you teach that a person can say to their father or mother, I have something I could use to help you, but I will not use it for you. I will give it to God. You are teaching them not to respect their father. So you are teaching that it is not important to do what God said. You think it is more important to follow those traditions you have. You are hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he spoke for God about you. These people honor me with their words, but I am not really important for, to them. Their worship of me is worthless. The things they teach are only human rules. Jesus called the people to him. He said, listen and understand what I am saying. It is not what people put in their mouth that makes them wrong. It is what comes out of their mouth that makes them wrong. Then the followers came to Jesus and asked, Do you know that the Pharisees are upset about what you said? Jesus answered, Every plant that my Father in heaven has not planted will, not, will be pulled by the roots. Stay away from the Pharisees. They lead the people, but they are like blind men leading other blind men. And if a blind man leads another blind man, both of them will fall into a ditch. Peter said, Explain to us what you said earlier to people. Jesus said, Do you still have trouble understanding? Surely you know that all the food that enters the mouth goes into the stomach then it goes out of the body but the bad things people say with their mouth come from the way they think and that's what can make people wrong all these bad things being begin in the mind evil thoughts murder adultery sexual uh, sinful sins healing, lying, and insulting people. These are the things that make uh, people wrong. Eating with, without washing their hands will never make people unacceptable to God. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Epistle, 
Romans 7 part 7 to 13 our fight against sin you might think I am saying that sin and the law are the same that is not true but the law was the only way I could learn what sin means I would never have known it is wrong to want something that is not mine but the law said you must not want want what belongs to someone else and sin found a way to use that command and make me want all kind of things that weren't mine so sin came to me because of the command but without the law sin has no power before I knew the law I was alive but when I heard the law's command sin began to live and I died spiritually the command was meant to bring life but for me it brought death sin found a way to fool me by using the command to make me die now the law is holy and the command is holy and right and good does this mean that something that is good brought death to me no it was sin that used used the good command to bring me death this show how terrible sin really is it can use a good command to produce a result that shows sin it is very worse this is the word of jesus thanks be to god hallelujah 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 Gospel John 11 part 45 to 57 the plot to kill Jesus there were many Jews who came to visit Mary when they saw what Jesus did many of them believed in him but some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus did then the leading priests and Pharisees called a meeting of the high council they said what should we do this man is doing many miraculous signs if we let him continue doing these things everyone will believe in him then the Romans will come and take away our temple and our nation one of the men there was Caiaphas he was the high priest that year he said you people know nothing it is better for one man to die for the people than for the whole nation to be destroyed but you don't realize this Caiaphas did not think to this himself that as that year's high priest he was really professing that Jesus would die for the Jewish people yes he would die for the Jewish people but he would also die for God's other children scattered all over the world he would die to bring them all together make them one people that day the Jewish leaders began planning to kill Jesus so Jesus stopped traveling around openly among the Jews. He went away to a town called Ephraim in an area near the east, the desert. He stayed there with his followers. It was almost time for the Jewish Passover festival. 
Many people from the country went to Jerusalem before the Passover. They went to the special things to make themselves pure for the festival. The people looked for Jesus. They stood in the temple area and asked each other, Is he coming to the festival? What do you think? But the leading priests and Pharisees had given a special order about Jesus. They said that anyone who knew where he was must tell them so that they could arrest him. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 is this great king he is the almighty lord yes he is the great king a prayer for having trouble lord i offer myself to you i trust in you my god please do not let me be ashamed do not let my enemies laugh at me because they are stronger than me preaching don't, don't forget that God loves you so much. My child, I know you. I know what you are thinking. I know when you are happy. I know when you are sad. I know when you are alone. I know when you are in pain. I know when you are worrying. I know every details of your life. I know everything. I am listening to you for I care for you. And even if sometimes you cannot feel me, even if sometimes you cannot understand my ways, and even if sometimes you feel like you are all alone, just know that I am just right here. I will never leave you, not a single day, not a single hour. I will hold in your hands all along the way. I will guide you and I will always be faithful to you. I am true to my word. You can always trust my promises. I am greater than what you feel right now. I am greater than your problems. So cast all your cares on me, for I care for you. I love you, my child. I will always help you. I will always carry you through. When you are tired, you can always rest in my arms. When you are lonely and sad, you can always ask comfort from me. I will continue to go to do good things in your life. My grace is always with you. My love is always with you. There is a bright light, light ahead. Keep on moving. Continue to hold my hand and let us enjoy this journey together. Love your heavenly Father. The Creed We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, 
this, uh, he, he suffered dead and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Surely nobody who trusts in you will become ashamed. No, it is those who like to deceive others who will become ashamed. Lord, help me to understand your ways. Teach me your paths. Please be guide and teach me your truth. I trust you every day because you are the God who keeps me safe. Lord, please show your love and your mercy from long ago. You have always been like that. Do not punish me for the sins that I did when I was young. I turned against you. Please forgive me. Lord, remember your faithful love and for your people, please be kind to me. The Lord is good and he does what is right. Because of that, he teaches sinners the right way to live. Hallelujah. Amen. Prayers of Intercessions We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine, wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this vine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty, for everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. 
the Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through Him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving Him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in membranes of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord Amen Christ is risen Christ will come again Amen accept through him our great high Lord these are sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever amen if you are many break the bread and share with each other Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crum the crumbs from under your table but you Lord are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners so cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom Amen God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. He's a guide for humble people so that they know what is right. He will teach them to follow his way. The Lord is kind, kind to his people in everything that he does. He shows his faithful love to those who obey the rules of his covenant. Lord, my sins are very many. Please forgive me and show that your name is great. Hallelujah. Amen. If anyone respects the Lord, the Lord will show that person the right way to live. People like that will have a good life. The land will belong to their descendants. The Lord is a guide for those who serve him. He teaches them to obey his covenant. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. 
Ei.